This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Toyota has been touting its electrification technology for more than two decades. First with the Prius Hybrid, which launched a wave of gas electric vehicles. The company has also stepped into the battery electric space in recent years. But is that enough to address the twin issues of climate change and the need for greener personal transportation? One of the things that Toyota, like every other automaker, has to consider is the impact that their products have on the climate and the air we breathe. The question is, how do you achieve it? Is it by eliminating tailpipe emissions? Changing the way you build vehicles? Or how you operate your office? While the brand's primary purpose is selling vehicles, that may not be sustainable using the old business model. That is where Kevin Butt comes into the picture as Senior Director of Environmental Sustainability. His job is to take a cold, hard view of the processes and what can be improved. But concedes that the current electric power grid in the U.S. is part of the problem. Okay. In California, where the largest numbers of EVs are registered, that state experiences routine brownouts. Combine that with the many places that get electricity from coal power generating plants. So you may think you're being beneficial to the environment and you went out and bought yourself a nice uh, vehicle and you plugged into your garage, but you just transferred those emissions to the smokestack of the power generating facility. While building cars that reduce tailpipe emissions, but notes that how these vehicles are built going forward is a key part of the solution. You know, no matter whether it's an ICE engine or a uh, BEV or a hybrid or plug-in hybrid, the front end of making that car, you know, a lot of the same processes have to be done, mm -hmm. right? If you add a battery, that causes even more uh, conservation problems. The automaker is also mandating suppliers find ways to produce their parts with conservation in mind but adds that new European rules will require a more aggressive approach to green operations, which present a whole new set of challenges. But how, when you talk about recycling parts of cars into new cars and the process of collecting and managing and making sure the chemistry is right so that they're safe. The shift to a more sustainable process will also include in how Toyota's corporate office space is configured with conservation in mind. As the evolution occurs, the car maker will also have to educate their customer base about the need for the changes. I'm Greg Morrison.